Progress check. Got a ways to go. <laughs> Hello folks, Grace here, and thank you for joining me today. It's been a minute, I know. Apologies, life. Now, there's been a lot of stuff going on and um, I just haven't been able to really motivate myself to crochet, which if you go back to my first video from exactly one year ago from when this will be posted, you'll note that I said that I was doing it to motivate myself and um, you know, I feel like this was a pretty good track record to make it almost an entire year without a long gap between projects. So I'm proud of myself for that. And you know, we're gonna keep going. So today, cause we've come full circle, we're back at spooky season. I did blow my chance to make a bunch of spooky stuff. Oh, so many spooky projects I want to make, but we're gonna resign ourselves to like two of them. Today, what we're gonna make is a witch's hat. Partially because I need a costume to wear to work and partially because uh, I think I can get it done today. We have two yarns here, black, purple. I'm not sure which one I would rather use. We definitely have enough of either. So I have my button here and I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna go heads black, tails purple or ridge, black, flat, purple. Got it? Okay. Ridge up, and we're going black. Okay. And uh, we'll get to business. Why I keep on insisting on making projects out of black yarn when I can't see a darn thing? Can't explain. I do have a pattern that I got here for free on Ravelry, but the first instruction already has me off off guard the fir the first row says using mc to single crochet in next stitch for single crochet repeat to stitch beef marker you know normal sometimes these patterns are like greek Sometimes they are Greek. So I'm actually just gonna wing it because I'm I'm pretty sure I know a fair bit of how to make a witch's hat. And what we're gonna do is start with the point because that's, you know, where you start. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save increases for every other row and that way it'll be a longer triangle. I think that's what we're gonna do. Progress check. Got a ways to go. <laughs> so now I should have 40 stitches here. Let me see. I do. I do have 40 stitches here. I did math correctly. Now, because I, I do have a long way to go and I don't want this hat to be like on the floor long, I'm gonna switch to doing five increases a row. I was doing four increases a row. Now we're gonna do five increases a row. I wanna avoid doing too much of a change because that'll give it almost like a, like a bottleneck where it'll have those lumps that I, I don't want it to have. It's not gonna look as smooth. So then 40 divided by five, and we're going back to every eight stitches. The longer I make this hat, the less structural integrity it's gonna have. I'm already concerned about how well it's gonna stand up. Like this is doing really well, but like this is like not a lot to hold up. I don't need it to be completely upright. It's, 
it's kind of cute if it has a little bit of a flap that's kind of what this is for but you know I, I don't want it to be a pointy slouchy beanie what was I doing I was doing every eight stitches where am I at now one two three four five six seven oh look at that convenient Let's see, hopefully this will be the final fit. Okay, yep, that's my whole head. That's my whole head in a hat. Cute, approve. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the purple for two rows. I'm not gonna do any increases and then figure out a brim. Well, once I get these two rows done. All right, so I have this purple yarn. Maybe this isn't the best choice though, because looking at it, it is substantially thinner. No, you know what? We're gonna just go with the purple. It's not gonna be doing too much anyway, as it's gonna be just there to be a little segue between the cap portion and the brim. Okay. Yarn bowl two. Okay, it's a hat. Ready? It's a cute witch hat. Not too big, not too small. The brim is a little more floppy than I would like, but that's fine. It's definitely gonna serve its purpose and considering I made the whole thing up, pretty good. I have had some fun with this project. Mostly I'm tired, <laughs> but I am excited to have a hat to wear for Halloween. That's, you know, simple, easy, comfy, and not gonna be in my way while I'm doing my job. Thank you guys again for coming back. I know there was a bit of a hiatus there but i really appreciate you all coming back to watch this video i just want to thank everyone for this great year and how much love and support you all have shown me through this process i think we've made a fair bit of progress there have been some steps backwards for special occasions and special <laughs> special reasoning only um, but overall, I'm really happy with the progress we've made going through the stash. I've had a lot of fun with so many projects and I am excited to do another year. And, uh, I hope you guys are excited to continue this journey with me. You've been great. I've been Grace. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment all of that fun stuff and have a happy Halloween. Bye.